Hello and welcome to this evening's edition of E-Prime. I'm Deidran. From the basement to the big leagues, Zyklon becomes the first dancehall artist to enter the Billboard Reggae album start in eight years with an independent project. The album was released last December as the artist's sophomore album and entered the Billboard charts then in the number 14 spot. The album has dethroned Major Lazer's No No Better EP to take the number one spot. Also on the charts this week is Ziggy Marley in the number five spot and veteran reggae singer Jimmy Cliff at number seven with his album The Best of Jimmy Cliff. Zyklone's album features tracks such as Tell the Truth, Ambition and Wanna Dance. Incarcerated reggae superstar Buja Banton is stepping into the fashion industry by launching his very own clothing line. The brand dubbed Everything BB will be rolling out first with a t-shirt line displaying Buja's photo on the front with his song lyrics like Over the Hills on the back. Prices are not yet released but the merchandise will go on sale in a matter of weeks on the everythingbb.net website which will be completed in a few weeks. Pop superstar Rihanna recently credited Bujo as the writer for her upcoming single titled Fat, a new project for which she is already making the rounds to complete in studio. Bujo Banton was convicted on cocaine distribution and conspiracy charges and is slated to be released in December next year. In our E-Prime Spotlight this evening is Magnum Kings and Queens of Dancehall 2013 winner Jonah. The artist credits the competition for preparing him for the mainstream dancehall landscape and says he's now moving into the next phase of his career. This is Jonah the One Boss, Magnum 2013 winner. You see the competition, the competition prepare you for the music. And when I say after the competition it was easy, it wasn't easy because you don't know where to put in a portion to work because watch you now. You see the competition it, it gives you a, a promotion already, you know. So you see when you come off of that, you know say so you have to put in the work because you're not gonna get that promotion there again. So you have to like do the work same way, you have to do the thing for people for the people them see the same way, you have to keep current, you have to make new music at all times, you can't ease up. Early this year, the artist inked a deal with a US-based management firm and is currently engaged in the process of delivering a number of new projects, including his very first EP. I'm currently signed to a particular label called Lataya Management, which we just finished up a music video. Last month it released it near Money at the Topic and I get tremendous feedback off of it. This summer we have an EP dropping and the name of the EP is the rebirth of Jonah One Boss, Element of Surprise, distributed by Zojak. So you know, say yo, the thing all day. Jonah is also maintaining a positive presence in his community by creating a mentorship program for aspiring artists. On the international scene, Sean PDD Combs has officially debuted his hip hop documentary, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, a bad boy story on Apple Music. Apple's exclusive access is for one year. Can't Stop, Won't Stop is the latest music-related film content for Apple Music, giving fans an insight on the life of the hip-hop mogul, his label, and his rise to becoming one of the top recording artists in the industry. That's it for this evening's edition of E-Prime. I'm Deidran. Thanks for watching.